Aha, there we go. Okay. For some reason that, uh, for some reason the microphone wasn't picking up and I wasn't sure why, but somehow I fixed it. Yay! Welcome to our Saturday stream. This one's going to be kind of uh, interesting. This is a, uh, I guess, what could be considered part of a little mini-series on bad games. Um, kind of. It's not as bad as, say, Captain Novelin, because that was just a disaster, for those of you that were here to uh, watch that abomination. Uh, but it is not the best game ever. Not that game shows based on video games have a great reputation anyway, but this one, even in that low of a standard, almost doesn't quite hit the bar. But uh, you'll see what I mean as we go on and we play Double Dare for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Should be a lot of fun, at least for you guys. We'll see how hard I uh, rage at this as we begin. So uh, wish me luck, and here we go. As soon as I find the pause button, or the unpause button. Aha! Emulation speed. Unpause. Go. Here we go. Look at those graphics. Double Dare TM period. Wow. And that figure in the center, I believe, is supposed to be Mark Summers? I don't re ever remember Mark Summers being... Having black hair, and also he usually didn't wear house slippers when he hosted the show. So, <laughs> so we hit start, and now that's Mark Summers, supposedly. Uh, I still have my doubts. So let's uh, let's try easy for now, and see where that gets us. Oh, I need a team name. Um. I think we just go with pantsless, and I think that will be just fine. Oh, would I like a new character? I, I guess I want all the new characters. Oh, wow. Some of these are just so 80s. That is super 80s. Look at that. Holy crap. Um... Looks like an unassuming banana mouth guy. Let's go with that one. So it's pantless, pantsless versus crawler. Hungry clowns. Their double -like clowns are hungry, and you'll get to feed them. The first team to get three eggs into the clown's mouth wins control of the questions. Okay. So. Oh, I see now. You gotta get it just right on the speed and angle to get it in, and I'm already behind by one. Okay, there we go. There's two. Nope, not quite. A little bit more oomph behind it there, buddy. Not up the clown's nose, buddy. Oh, all those. That one was close. Hey! There we go. Ten bucks! Woohoo! I'm rich. That, okay, I regret my choice of avatar now. The refraction of light by the atmosphere of a desert creates an optical illusion called what? Um, pretty sure it's a mirage. Yay, another ten bucks. So, that was kind of tough for a kid's game show. Let's keep going, though. In which museum can you see the original painting of the Mona Lisa? The Louvre in Paris, the Prado in Madrid, or the Metropolitan in New York? Uh, pretty sure it is the Louvre. And my horrible French pronunciation. <laughs> pronunciation. I can't even pronounce English correctly. What am I talking about? So, uh, hold on just a second. Sorry, I had a lot of background noise there for a second, uh, but we are getting right back into it. Here we go. Uh, 
Okay. In which country are Porsche and BMW cars made? Uh, oh, wow. West Germany? That's how old this is. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's West Germany. They give you a lot of time, too. That could be just because I chose easy. I may have wanted to try a different difficulty, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll play another game for sure. What kind of agency do Maddie and David run on Moonlighting? Uh, that's totally 80s, and I don't remember this show. So, I guess, as in, as in the tradition of the show, I am going to dare the other team. Which means they can try and answer it for double the dollars. A whole 20. Let's see what they do. Oh, they're going to double dare. Okay. So now I can either try and take a shot at it for 40 bucks. Or I can do the physical challenge. I'm still not... I, I think maybe it's employment, but I'm not 100% sure. So I am going to physical challenge before time runs out. I almost forgot about that. So. What was the correct answer? Oh, detective. Good thing I took the physical challenge. You, you know, Phoenix, you ask the tough questions. So what am I getting myself into here? Spaghetti shoot. What? We have a big plate of spaghetti on the wall, but we need someone to put the sauce on the meatball. That someone is your partner. You must shoot your partner from the cannon at the spaghetti? You have 15 seconds to hit the big meatball. What kind of... This is not a physical challenge that was on the show. Why would you fire kids out of a cannon into a wall? I am perplexed, but, oh well, here we go. Uh, okay. Okay, I need a lot more speed. Like, all the speed. Uh, okay, maybe not quite as much speed, but... This music, too, what the hell was that? I don't think I'm gonna get it, guys. Nope. But still, that is not a physical challenge. Yeah, you lost your challenge, so Crawler wins the money. Alright, so the game is now tied. And they have control of the questions. Phoenix, we are not doing that as a con event, no. Janet DeVito's real-life wife, Rhea Perlman, stars on which TV comedy? I guess it was Cheers. Alright, another $10 coming up. Which National League player holds the single-season home run record? Well, this is probably outdated since the game was made in, like, what, 1987 or 88? So, of course, they're going to dare me. All right, I could try and answer and win some money. Or I could double-dare them and see if they take the physical. I'm going to do the physical, because I can't, I can't choose between Hank Aaron and Babe Ruth. So, uh... Let's see what they do. Is it Babe Ruth? It is not! It must have been Hank Aaron. Or the one that I wasn't going to choose anyway. <laughs> Hack Wilson? Who the hell is that? Well, either way, I get the money, so yay! All right, so I'm back in the lead, and another $10 question. Why does the British Post Office pay cats? To bring seven years good luck, to lick stamps, to keep mice away from the mail. They would not lick stamps. I mean, even humans don't lick stamps. And, uh, yeah, it, it, it's... I, I, you know what? I'm going to dare. Because maybe they don't know it, and they'll double dare me, and I'll go on my hunch and maybe get some more money. Fingers crossed. Trying to use strategy for a 20-year-old, 30-year-old Nintendo game. And it may pay off. We'll see. Is that right? Yay! All right. How many questions are in a round? Holy crap. All right. Which bodybuilder, bodybuilder turned actor has been a Terminator, a Predator, and a Running Man? Okay, that one I know. 
is Arnold Schwarzenegger. An epilogue would be, or an epicure, sorry, would be most interested in what? Gluttony, astrology, or gastronomy? I have no idea. That's going to be a definite dare. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. I, I, I do regret my choice in Avatar. <laughs> I could try and duplicate the face if it comes up again. We'll see. Uh, but for now... I still have no idea. We're going to do the physical challenge. Worst case is I screw it up and they get some more money. Gastronomy. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll take your word for it, 30-year-old NES game. If you like to play basketball, even a wet version with water balloons. If you can toss two water balloons through the hoop and onto your partner's head in 20 seconds, you will win this challenge. Now, see, this one is one that I... I don't know for sure if it was on the show, but it certainly sounds a lot more plausible than shooting a child into a brick wall. Uh, I think right down the middle for both. A little bit more... Oh. Oh, nope. Hey, there's one. Can I do it again? Nope. Oh. See, I, I look right, rightfully ticked off when I don't win the, the thing. Except the animation stops with me going... How long is a U.S. Senator's term of office... I could make a political joke, but the correct answer is indeed six years. Oh, end of round one. Okay. Halftime. Do we get, like, a halftime show or anything? No? Nope, we don't. Dollar values are doubled. We like to play golf on Double Dare, but we lost our golf balls, so you have to use eggs. The first team to put two eggs into the cup wins control of the questions. Again, reasonable facsimile of something you would see on the show. Oh, and this is an angle. Uh, well, okay. No, definitely not that fast. Hey, that worked. Okay, do it again. I just totally launched that egg. Okay. Oh, see, I can... Okay, here, here we go, here we go. Anyway. Where would you find the solar plexus? On He-Man's planet Eternia? <laughs> wow. Next to the Big Dipper or inside your body? That is a muscle. So, inside your body. I gotta get a little bit more ahead before I do any more physical challenges, because they could catch up with him. In which southern city can you walk along Bourbon Street and visit the Sugar Bowl? Well, I've been... I've not been to Bourbon Street, but I've been to the French Quarter in Nolens. Life experience that, you know, kids may not have. Anyway. What was the location of the first permanent English settlement in North America? Uh, definitely not Columbus, Ohio. Uh, pretty sure it was Jamestown, but I'm going to go out on a limb here and dare and see if I can get some more cash for it. Let's see what they do. Oh, no! Oh, they called my bluff. That's fair. According to the Brady Bunch theme song, how did the youngest daughter wear her hair? In curls, in a ponytail, or in bangs? The youngest one in... Pretty sure it's curls. The youngest one in curls, because in a ponytail doesn't even fit the lyrics. So, yeah, curls. What's the worst that can happen? 
All right, here we go. According to the famous Chinese philosopher Confucius, a bird in the hand is worth two where on your head in the bush in a cage. Let's see if this backfires on me again. Or can I get dollars? I want dollars. backfired again. I gotta stop that. My avatar is creepy, but the other guys, the, the, the avatar in the left and the red team looks really stoned. Anyway, in a fraction, what is the top number called? Numerator, denominator, or the top number? Well, we'll just keep daring each other and then getting the answer right. Because, oh, I almost picked the wrong one. <laughs> Another $20 one. What kind of fear is categlophobia? The fear of being made fun of, riding in boats, or putting your cat in jello? Sounds like a physical challenge in this game. Um, dare. For sure, because I have no clue. What are they going to do? Being made fun of. Well, I learned something new today. Not many physical challenges in this round either. Why does an ostrich stick its head in the sand? To try to do a headstand, to hide from the sun, to look underground for water. Hmm. I'm not 100% sure. Apparently the other team is not either. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the I'm gonna make them do it. You do the thing. Thinking it's C. Uh, I mean, I was thinking either to hide from the sun or to look for water underground. Let's see what. They're, oh, they're gonna. Oh, they say look underground for water. Oh no, they're in the lead. All right, I gotta catch up. Come on, dare me. In Madame Tussauds Famous Museum, what are all the figures made out of? This one I know. It is French pastry. Because who would not want a croissant of Elvis Presley? Actually, no, it's wax. Which means I'm in the lead again, yay. All right, I got to get ahead more because they're catching up. So here we go. The eruption of Mount St. Helens took place in which state? Um, I mean, you're always welcome to suggest. I may or may not take suggestions. Oh, hey, it's the win. Me and my toothless mouth are going to go to the obstacle course and try and win fabulous prizes. Let's see, what do we have here? A very big audience. Oil slick. Uh, jungle gym kind of looking thing. A tube. A vat of slime. The hamster wheel. I love the hamster wheel on the show. The monkey bars. Mountain. And another really boring jungle gym looking thing. Hit any key. Okay, go. I'm hitting right. Oh god, you have to like rock the controller left and right to run. That is a... What? Who designed these controls? Oh my god. Oh! Oh god, this is, this is not going well. You have to mash the up key. You can't just hold it. You have to keep hitting it repeatedly, repeatedly to, to climb. Who designed these controls for the obstacle course? Better hustle. Yeah, I know. By now, I'm supposed to be done with obstacle four by now, and I haven't even gotten there yet. Move it. Yeah, thanks. 
You missed the you missed the flag twice. Stop! Stop! <laughs> oh my god! You know, I, it could be. Three, two, one. You're not even gonna. Okay, you could just hang there forever. So what all did I win? A watch, a stereo, a pool table, a BMX bike, and camping gear. Well, I'm all set to go out in the middle of nowhere, play pool, and be able to tell time. So that was a thing. $900 in prizes. I mean, that's about what the budget was in the original show. Oh, we get credits! Or, you know, if you accidentally hit start. Yeah, with my Walkman. I get to listen to uh, New Kids on the Block while I play pool in the middle of a forest and uh, and then ride my bike to my tent and know that it's exactly 3.17 a.m. when I get mauled by a bear. All right, let's try this again. Let's go, let's go one higher. At least now it fits. Did I, are we like the same teams again? We like to bowl on Double Dare, but we lost all our bowling balls. This show cannot keep its balls anywhere. So now you have to use cantaloupes. First team to knock over all three pins wins control of the questions. Okay. It's gonna take some fancy bowling. Oh, hey, I got one. Oh, wow, okay. I'm doing okay. Can I just, like, bowl for the rest of the time? Because that was easy. On the TV show, what is Airwolf? A computer-driven car. It would be a helicopter. Because a computer-driven car was Knight Rider, and a Transformer robot jet was, well, Transformers. What is a scapula? Um... Hmm... I... Yeah, I'm gonna guess. How is right! I guess right. Also B. The answer is always B. It's probably not, but... From which famous story did we get the phrase, Love means never having to say your story? Love story, Romeo and Juliet, or Cyrano de Bergerac? I'm gonna dare. I don't think it's Romeo and Juliet, because that is... Love means never having to say, I'm going to stay alive. Uh, Sorry, spoilers. Ah. Oh. Love means never having to say you're sorry. Um, hmm. Love story or Cyrano de Bergerac? You know what? Physical challenge. Why the heck not? Because they may take the lead. I screwed up, which I have not gotten one physical love story. Okay. Good day, mate. You're Kangaroo Fun D, and you need to catch three baby kangaroos in your pouch. Press your button. I've got several of them on this controller to flip in the air. You have three, 20 seconds to catch three baby kangaroos. I'm going to assume that these are just stuffed. Oh God! What the hell? Oh, okay. This is not as easy as you think it is. Okay, there's one. There's two. Come on. Oh, come on, one more. Oh. I always get really close and then screw it up. Cooties wins the money.
Scientists predict that the Leaning Tower of Pisa will do what in the year, what between the years 2010 and 2020? Straighten itself out, fall over, or float away. Well, whatever it's doing, it better hurry up and do it because you only got like a year left. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to say Double Dare. Are they going to do the physical? Nope, they're going to say fall over. Oh, that's right! I forget, I set this on a harder difficulty, so it's probably harder to, uh, to fake out the other team to try and get more money. Which Cherokee Indian chief had the giant American redwood tree named after him? Geronimo, Redheart, or Sequoia? Yep, that sounds accurate. Which continent is the second largest? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Africa. Asia is the largest by far. Alright, I gotta get back in this. When Mighty Mouse isn't busy being a superhero, which name does he use? Mike, Mouse, Goofy, or Ricky Rodent? Oh lord. Um, well, it's definitely not Goofy. Mike Mouse? I'll give it a shot. Why not? Oh, good job. Thanks, Phoenix. All right. Need to build up my bank here. Here we go. Which brand of jeans has its logo as a punctuation mark inside a triangle? It's not Levi's. It's not Calvin Klein. So by process of elimination, I will have to guess that the answer is guess and be correct. Yes, you. <laughs> here you come to save the day! Which sides of your body does the right side of your brain control? The right, the left, or both sides? I know this because I am left handed, therefore I am. Therefore I am in my right mind, so it is the opposite side or the left side. Slowly but surely building up my cash. The Alamo is located in which Texas city? Fort Worth, San Antonio, or Laredo? This one, definitely San Antonio. The questions seem easier on this level, but... Okay, I... I whatever. Yeah, halftime, whatever. Our Double Dare Gorilla loves to catch bananas. The first team to toss a banana into our gorilla's hand wins control... This double dare have a gorilla. Oh, almost. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know. Okay, well, they won. I am very, very concerned about the, the quality of this game. What does a soothsayer do? Predicts the future, makes false teeth. If only it were B. $40, I can tie it up with this. Uh, and I know this one. Is not for sooth. Soothsayer is a fortune teller. It's all tied. I've got control. Time to run away with this Jiminy Jazz. <laughs> In 1957, Laika was the first animal to orbit Earth. What was Laika? Laika was a dog. And sadly, Laika did not survive the trip back. And therefore is like a hero in Russia. All right, another $20 one. How is a navel orange different from other oranges? It has no seeds. It only grows in Florida. It is eaten only by sailors. Mm, there.
Oh boy. See, I don't know what's going to be better. Is if I take a guess or if I do the physical challenge? Because my track record with physical challenges is just A+. Plus. Um, I'm going to guess. It has no seats. Yeah! If you weigh 100 pounds on Earth, what will you weigh on the moon? Well, if we're talking about mass, it's the same, but weight, it is going to be less. Because you, you weigh, it, the gravity is one-sixth. So it's like you weigh, like, 17 pounds or something. What animal does a Toreador fight? A bull, a bucking bronco, or an alligator? No, it's not Steve Irwin. Um, it's bull. Although a bucking bronco adds a horse. Duh. I'm thinking a bucking bronco is a bull for some weird reason. Which automobile company made the old Model T card? Getting some really easy questions. Elizabeth Blackwell was famous as the first what? Woman doctor in the U.S., woman magician, queen of England. Probably not the third, probably not C, but I'm not sure about the other two, so we'll dare. I've got enough of a lead that I can withstand to have them catch up by 80 bucks. I would not know that, Phoenix. Um, yeah, let's... What the heck? For, for laughs and giggles, let's do the physical. And see what the correct answer was. First woman doctor in the U.S. Okay. It's just like the show. Occasionally you would learn little tidbits of, of knowledge. Cake catch. Welcome to the Double Dare Cake Catch. Your partner is going to launch cakes into the air... You must catch one cake before it hits the ground by bouncing up and down on your trampoline. You have 20 seconds to grab just one cake. How are they going to do this? Oh god. Oh, you almost had it. Oh, no. I'm not going to get it. Oh! Oh, yes! Suck it, cooties! It's probably not allowed in the show. In the Nancy Drew books, what is the name of the girl detective's steady boyfriend? Ah. Uh... Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> easy game, easy life. Yeah. No idea. C is for C is Captain Marvel. Okay. Um, okay, we'll go with it. Why not? Is there a mercy rule? Because apparently I'm just, like, completely killing it this game. Where would you likely to see... Where would you be likely to see a Portuguese man of war? On a battlefield, in a restaurant, or in the ocean? Depends on the restaurant, but I know for sure they're in the ocean. It's jellyfish. Jellyfish. I think that's the one where if you get stung, you have to, like, pee on someone or something. I don't know. After George de Mistral saw how a tiny burr stuck to his clothes, which fasting material did he invent? The zipper, adhesive tape, or Velcro? Logically, I'm saying Velcro, but just for for fun's sake, let's let's dare.
And we'll go for it. Velcro. So let's see the obstacles we have this time. The pit of slime, the boring jungle gym, the mountain. They're the same ones as before, just in a different order. Okay. Right, well, at least I, now I know how to run. Move it, move it, move it. There you go! You learned how to grab the flag. Up, 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 up. Oh no. That's left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Alright, doing good. Up, 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 Not doing terrible. All right, here we go. Oh, nice. I don't think I'm going to win, but I think I'll get closer than I did before. Can you make it? Can you make it? Can you make it? Hey! I almost got through all of them. What all did I get? Well, in addition to everything I got before, now I have a TV and a Nintendo. So I can play Nintendo on the pool table with the TV sitting on the pool table. And I know what time it is because I'm listening to my Walkman and blah, 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 blah. Okay! There is not much to this game. Like, and I know it's a game show game. There's not a whole lot to it, but man, this is Hugh Ward, Hugh Ward, Hugh Ward. And Rare made this game. Like the same people who did like Donkey Kong Country, which is a very good game, made this, which is not a very good game. You don't rock the controller back and forth to, to move in Donkey Kong Country. Ugh. Okay. Enough of my yammering on about that. So. Let us take a short, short break, and then uh, I will decide what to do next. We may come back to Double Dare, but for right now, we'll take a quick break and be back in just a moment.
All right, and we are back. So I decided, out of just a whim, that uh, we'll come back to Double Dare a little bit later because um, I just don't want to get completely burned out on Double Dare, and I have a feeling that that would... Today I learned that the Stampers are the founders of Rare. Okay. They have uh, they have most certainly moved on to bigger and better things, that's for sure. So uh, what I've decided is that uh, for the next little while... Um, I figured we would do some classic, but also bad, of uh, the Ninja Gaiden trilogy basically tried to do to Ninja Gaiden what Super Mario All-Stars did to the Mario series on the NES, but they didn't do quite as well. So, uh, that's what we're going to be doing now. There it is. It comes with a password save, which, you know, the original games didn't, which is kind of nice. But, uh... Here we go. You can choose any of the three original Ninja Gaidens. I'm going to stick with two, because that was my favorite one. And the one thing that's always cool about Ninja Gaiden is the cutscenes. The cutscenes are so freaking cool. It really looks like the Shredder. I just have to get that out there. But I know it's not the Shredder. But it really looks like the Shredder. Jackio has been defeated. Just as I thought. What about the ninja? He knows nothing yet. Continue the plan. Go get a gallon of milk from the store. I mean, what shall we do about the Ninja Dragon, sire? Nothing. No further need for him. At least not for now. Follow the plan exactly. Now go. Yes, sire. The time shall come. When the gate of darkness is cast open, all men shall kneel before me and bring me a gallon of milk from the store. Ha 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 ha! I don't know where. Just, just go with it. Oh, I remember why this game was so bad. So on most games, the Super Nintendo generally defaults to the B button for jump and the Y button for attack. This game does A for jump and B for attack, and I have no clue what X, X or Y do absolutely nothing. I cannot, for the life of me, there we go. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah. Ninja Gaiden does that thing. Whenever you take damage, you get knocked back 20 feet. Goodbye. Aha! Yeah, now I remember. The whole shadow clone thing. See, Ninja Gaiden did it before Naruto made it cool. Because now you can do cool stuff like that. Fire wheel. Ah! Oh, look at you. 
Oh, the enemies just keep reappearing. Now I have another clone. What, what hit me? What keeps hitting me? Oh my God. Great. That went surprisingly well. Can I go back up? <gasps> I can go back up and get stuff! Maybe. Can I go get supplies? Nope! Oh, great! I get to start all the way at the beginning! Ugh. How quickly I remember why I understood the, the importance of the Ninja Gaiden games in the Nintendo lore. But that doesn't mean I liked them. Well, that's useless. Yeah, give me my stupid shadow clone. thing. It went away. That. I'm not going to get to it in time. Oh, I did. Alright, just, I'm going to take my hits and just go. Try us again. Maybe this time with less death. I said less death. Well. Go to the Tower of Lachja if you want to save the girl. What? You mean... Yes, Irene. No time to lose, Hayabusa. Move it out. What am I moving out exactly? Is this where you get the gallon of milk from the store? But who are you? What the? This game would be so much easier if Ryu Hayabusa had a gun.
Oh god, I'm just having flashbacks from those damn birds. What? Oh. Running hockey guy got me. Nope! Nope! Ah! Thank you, Shadow Clone! That was not cool. Ah. ah! Oh lord! Oh, that works. Ah! It went away! Why did it go away? Well, that's good. Replace my my good throwing star with a crappy throwing star. Nope, nope. I replaced it with a fire. That's where the door to the train leads to. Okay. Oh no. Again, flashbacks to this level and the stupid having to compensate for the wind. not cool. was the end um okay okay good i don't have to start all the way back at the train i am awesome I thought I killed you. Uh, Just get me out of here. I'm gonna have to wait for the wind to go with the jump. I think. Ah! Nope. Try it again. Ah! Oh. Hey, that was close. There we go, got it. Where am I? Who am I? And where? Where? What is life? Apparently, I don't have enough magic points to do whatever it is. No, you're not going to knock me into the pit, but you're probably going to kill me. Yep. Is there no... Oh, great! Oh, yes, there is! It's like, is there no wind? Apparently there is. Uh... Let's go... Yeah, game over, whatever. Let's do... Let's do the first one. I think that's easier? I'm not sure. We'll find out. What is that? 
Damn. Okay, where do I go? I'm talking about. Oh, it went away. Good job. I have no weapon now. I'm gonna lose my weapon. Somehow, because your sword is bigger, yet my sword will actually, like, reach farther. I don't get that, but okay. seem to be following me. Just a girl. Get out of here! I will, but first... What the? I checked anesthetics don't come in guns. I mean, there's tranquilizer darts, but <laughs> I'm in soup. Those mouth flaps. Which is probably why Ryu is a ninja, because that way they don't have to animate his mouth flaps. Okay. Hey, don't punch me in the face. I did not ask for you to punch me in the face. Inside the wall, how did you hurt me? One of the worst curses of Nintendo games ever.
Okay. Do I? Okay. That was weird. Oh no. Oh, I like that. It's like a spinny sword attack. You just punched yourself into the great beyond. Good job, buddy. Oh, I lost my spinny sword thing. Aha, okay. Oh! That didn't quite work. Oh no. So now we're cutting open dragonflies for football, man. Go away, football man. Don't cling to the wall. Don't cling to the wall. Now cling to the wall. Glad we had this talk. Oh. No! Oh! Every single one of the lives I lost was because of that bull malarkey knockback. Uh, man, I thought Double Dare was frustrating. In fact, you know what? I'm going to punish myself even more by doing Double Dare on the hardest difficulty and just to see if that does anything different to it. So uh, we'll switch back to that. Hang on tight for just a second.
All right, here we go. Back to more Double Dare because I just love life. Yes, emulation speed 100%. On your mark, get set, go. So one player... Select skill level three because I'm badass. Uh, I've been pantsless, toothless. And now I am brainless. Okay, let's get let's go for that guy. The golf game, okay. This one I think it was actually not terrible at. Uh, never mind. Whoops! Okay, no. Wow. This is gonna be fun. I think I'm about to get my butt handed to me. And which cartoon series do movie stars, like, live in Holly Rock, not Hollywood? Okay. You're gonna dare on a question like that? Okay, sure. I'll take your 20 bucks. That would be the Flintstones. So now instead of, okay. In computer language, what is the short way of saying common business oriented language? Homage? No. So it's either CBO or COBOL, and I ran out of time. Okay. Yes, thank you. I like my angry face. It's all like... Aha. We'll have to be quick about it. In which old TV family is creaky, spooky, mysterious, kooky, and altogether ooky? The Addams Family. Ba da da da. All right, come on, dare me again. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. This is an example of which grammatical form? Alliteration. Yep. Yeah, the Jeffersons. And we're moving on up. To the spooky side! Apparently they didn't have too many questions in this game. Get a 10 spot. The United States Congress is made up of the Senate and which other body? House of Commons? House of Propres... We all know the answer is truly C, but it's actually B. Which personality hosts American Bandstand in the $100,000 pyramid? God rest his soul, Dick Clark. Although John Davidson did host $100,000 Pyramid 2, but he did not host Bandstand. Give me a game show question on a game show. Elephants are the heaviest land mammals. Which are the second heaviest? Gorillas, giraffes, or hippopotamuses? I'm gonna dare. I don't know. Never knows best. Was that C for hippopotamuses? Or was that for John Davidson? Or was that for some... I don't know. Is it hippopotamuses? It is. Okay. You were right. On which holiday did the song Auld Lang Syne is a hot day? New Year's Eve, Thanksgiving, or Old Timer's Day? Old Timer's Day, that's my day! It's gonna be New Year's Eve.
In the nursery rhyme, what did Little Jack Horner say after pulling his thumb out of his Christmas pie? I don't like this pie. Boy, did I make a mess. What a good boy am I. I don't know, actually. Wait a minute. I think, based on the rhyme, it would be, what a good boy am I. Or it could be, I don't like this pie. But I, I think it's, what a good boy am I. Apparently they ran out of time. Ha! Was I right? It is C. Very good. And what a good boy am I, because I just got money. We're ahead by 50 bucks, which is not much. Oh no, the gorilla. This game really has like zero replay value. A scissor tailed flycatcher. State bird of Oklahoma? I guess so. Wonder if the computer ever guesses wrong. I don't think they have. They've either guessed it right or they've sent it over to the other team. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, what is the most frequently sung song in English? Of those three, yeah, definitely happy birthday. What does a soothsayer... Skill level three was a mistake. In Monopoly, North Carolina, and Pennsylvania are two of the three green properties. Which is the third? It is Pacific. Pacific? It's Pacific. In the original King Kong movie, which New York landmark did the Big Ape climb? Yep. Well. My only hope is to really, like, just get a dare or see if I can get them to fail a physical and then just take over. In the movie The Wizard of Oz, which character does Dorothy meet first? Of those three, it is the Scarecrow. My time to shine! When, does, when a Muslim woman wears a purda, what is she hiding? Her face, her feet, or her husband? I, uh, I think it's her face. Okay. That's not one of the ones... I'm not super hip on, on Muslim clothing, but that was a guess. Which state borders the Atlantic Ocean of those three? It would be New Hampshire. It's definitely not Texas, and it's not Alaska. Which famous tourist city is known as the City of Lights? That would be Paris. Thank you, Moulin Rouge, for giving me that useless bit of knowledge. If you were afraid of anything red, what would your f be your phobia? Valentinophobia? Erythrophobia? Matadorophobia? I got it there, because I have no idea. I would not have picked erythrophobia to be fair so but if I would have if I would have gotten the thing wrong they wouldn't have gotten the money and I still would have won Arr! okay and again fair question what kid would know erythrophobia 
I think that's one of those questions they just throw in there to make the kids do a physical challenge. Like, you get easy question, easy question, easy question, and then, like, recite the quadratic formula or whatever. And they have to take the physical challenge, because what third grader knows the frickin' quadratic formula? <sighs> anyway, <laughs> enough of my ranting. So I would like to actually uh, try one more thing before we go. Let's leave Double Dare to the side for right now, and let's... I actually want to do a test of the new settings that I'm going to use for Jackbox Wednesday, since that's going to be coming up here shortly. Uh, where we're going to do a Twitch login, and we're also going to do uh, answer censoring uh, to hopefully uh, put the kibosh on some problems we had last time. So let me go ahead and set that up. I'll send you to a quick break, and we'll be right back. All right, so we're going to wrap up with a game of Quiplash with the new settings and see how that goes. So bear with me here. I'm going to get into the menu and uh, change those settings around. So full screen, audience yes, audience play along yes, extended timers yes. Family friendly, nah, require Twitch, yes. Manual censoring, yes. Yes, because that way either myself or one of the commentators will be the first person into the VIP so that they can do the censoring thing. Okay. All right, hold on just a second.
Well, we have a problem. I cannot log in to Twitch because I turned on two-factor authentication, which means that it was, that I have to go to a app that's on my phone or get a text message sent to my phone. Problem is, is right now my phone is a very, very expensive paperweight and I cannot get that fixed until Tuesday. So, um, I guess at this point we're actually going to end the stream quite a bit early and I'm very sorry about that. I'd like to go full time until, until, you know, exactly until the time I say I'm going to end. But I, I cannot log into Twitch at this moment. Well, actually, you know what? Hold on. Because I think I can do it if I open up a browser window and do it that way. Because I'm already logged into Twitch on my browser. So let's try that. See if that works. See, this is why I like to do the, the test of this stuff uh, before we really get into it. I do want to show you guys one thing because this is how you will log into Twitch on uh, for to get into the game. So what you'll do is you'll go to Jackbox.tv and then uh, give me just a second and I will show you. Hi Willow, hi baby. And I will show you where you need to go. Show you the screen. Sorry, give me just a second. Okay, so up in the top left-hand corner, you see the little hamburger menu, I think is what they call it. So with that hamburger menu, when you click that, it drops this down, and this button will actually say Twitch. You'll click that, and then you'll log into Twitch. And once you do that, it'll dump you back to here, and in the name should be your actual Twitch name. So that's how you do that. So just to kind of just to kind of put that out there. So now I'll get rid of that, and I will move this over here. And there is your room code. And let me go ahead and get in there, and then everyone else can get in. here, I'm thinking of a game that starts with a Q. That's right, Quinopoly. Anyway, back to this. Why, that's enough for a decent rodeo. This is round one. You'll get two prompts on your device. Just answer them however you want. Your responses, or quips, will be pitted against someone else's, and everyone will vote on their favorite. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go!
I love how I'm pantsless woo. Let's see what we're working with. First one, the best way to get out of a corn maze. Is it swords or bring okay, a microwave? Okay, choose your favorite. Way to save electricity is to blank. Set the house on fire or Load burn away. things for light. Well, they're almost the same thing. Okay, and I see I see now how you can censor something. of a really boring, boring sex, sex position, position is the reverse, reverse blank. What? Okay, vote. Reverse banana or reverse missionary? One is behind us. Let's see how you scored. <laughs> now round two, where all points and bonuses are doubled. All the drama. So, and this next one, I want to censor something just to see what happens in the game if you censor something. So, don't be... Don't get uh, too offended if I, uh, if I do censor something that probably even doesn't need to be censored. To give her treats. Okay, it's time for some quip lashing. The first prompt is first draft movie line. Frankly, my dear, I blank. Okay, use your device to pick your favorite. Nothing happened when I censored it, I thought. Hmm. Interesting. Next in the hopper, an unusual store, blank, are us. Try it again. Get to voting. Nah. Aha! There we go. You have to hit it twice in order to censor it. And next, the last thing you want to yeah. find in your cat's hairball. Phoenix, you didn't get to vote because I accidentally... Time to vote. <laughs> <laughs> I censored the other answer, so the, the answer I did not censor automatically wins. And in fact, it even censored, it even blacks out your... Uh, your handle? Wow. Round two's at an end. That is harsh. Let's sneak a peek at the scoreboard. <laughs> I wonder if 
I even get to participate in the last this round, is round since three, I censored myself. The last lash. Everyone gets the same one single prompt this time. Complete the comic. Everybody's in. It's round three, and you've got a shiny gold oh, medal to wow. award. Make your so pick. once you censor someone, they are censored for the rest of the game. Okay, who's taking home some medals? Let's melt those medals down for points. Yeah, I That's only the had game. the two options. Let's see the final scores. So sensory. Yeah. Censoring may be a little heavy-handed. Mm-hmm. Uh, just out of curiosity. Hi. Okay, so my name shows up there, but if someone just does mm-hmm. one bad answer, they're out of the rest of the game, which mm-hmm. I could kind of get behind, I guess. Because I certainly don't want another ah. comment like we had last time. Um... So this is definitely something to ponder. Um, Hi. We, yeah, top answer of the game. We'll, we'll never know. So I guess my question is now, what happens then if I try to play again? Will it let me? Let's find out. Let me play again. And it's To keep oh, in mind. hi, I'm Schmitty. Let's get this party started. Just an FYI, I'm claiming all of you as dependents on my taxes. When you censor an answer, well, you're one. actually censoring You'll score the points person. based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it. <laughs> Did you just meow? Time to share. 
Item number one on the list, a creature you should never find on a carousel. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Next on the list, your fishing trip with your father was going great until he set down his rod, turned his head, and said, blank. Uh-oh. It's voting time. <laughs> Either one of these is great. Um... Coming up next, an unusual reason to duel somebody. Put in your votes. <laughs> That's it for round one. Let's bring up the scoreboard. It's now time for round two. Everything is worth double, twice as much. Okay, here we go. Up first, a good name for a mint for your butt. Okay, select your favorite quip. <laughs> I am surprised at that one. Moving on, the worst person who could sing the James Bond theme. And vote. Watson or Sailor Moon? Um... you absolutely should not wear white. Vote on your devices. Those are both very morbid answers. <laughs> That's it for round two. Let's see those scores. That's right, it's round three, the last lash. Look alive, because you're all getting the same prompt this time. Make up a phrase that goes with this acronym. Oh, Lord.
Yeah, that's what I was thinking on that uh, on that Watson one. The uh, the computer that apparently is the all well not the all time Jeopardy champion, but the computer that beat the current human all time Jeopardy champion. Okay, soak it in. Choose who gets a medal now. All right, let's see who earned those medals. Okay, let's change those medals into points. That's it. Let's take a look at the final scores. Nicely done, never knows best. So, mm -hmm. this has given me some good information about what we're going to do for Jackbox Wednesday to mm -hmm. uh, to keep things on the up and up. And uh, let's talk about tomorrow, because mm -hmm. that's going to be another stream day. Uh, we are going to be doing Final Fantasy IV Free Enterprise, which means everything mm -hmm. is random. I will have no clue where anything is, and with my luck, I'll get stuck with a party mm -hmm. of mostly bards. Coming up a little later in the month, we're doing another edition of Final mm -hmm. Fantasy Free Enterprise, where my party will be all bards, five Edwards, mm -hmm. which is possibly the weakest character in the game, and I'm going to try and take five Edwards up against mm -hmm. the ultimate evil. That should be a ton of fun. We're still going to have a lot of fun tomorrow with Free Enterprise. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to do some uh, flags on that seed that I don't normally do, just to kind of keep mm -hmm. myself on my toes. And... Uh, if you are interested in learning more about Free Enterprise, go to ff4fe.com. That's where you can actually create seeds for your own. You can see where they do all kinds of different leagues and races and all kinds of cool stuff that people who are better at the game than me can definitely do. On some more fun news, I have recently added the ability to stream PlayStation Portable games. So we could do some of those. I've got some uh, kind of in the hopper ready to go, including the definitive edition of Final yeah. Fantasy IV, uh, Final Fantasies I and II, also uh, a Mega Man game, a Castlevania yeah. game, and uh, Final Fantasy Dissidia, which I've never played before. So that should be uh -huh. interesting because apparently it's like a three, like it's kind of like Final uh -huh. Fantasy meets Soul Calibur, I've been told. So... Who knows what's going to happen when we uh, take a look at that. But that will be coming up very soon. Uh, we'll go ahead and let you go a little bit early. Go have some good food, and uh, we'll see you back here tomorrow from 7 to 9 Eastern for Final Fantasy IV. And then again on Monday, the day after tomorrow, Labor Day, 5 to 9 p.m., we are going to be streaming Gundam Wing, Endless Duel, and it will be a ton of fun. So until then, this is Dusty saying thanks for stopping by, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Uh-huh. Yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh.